All right, guys, House of the Dragon episode 10 season finale just got done watching it. Let me give you my quick thoughts. Going to be a spoiler talk. If you haven't seen the episode, get the fuck off this video. Give it a like. Come back later when you have seen the episode. That is your spoiler warning. This episode opens exactly how we thought it was going to open. Rhaenys flew to Rhaenyra and Daemon, told them about the death of Viserys and the fact the High Towers crowned Aemon the King. And, and I, I love the dichotomy between Rhaenyra and Daemon. Because Daemon is ready to go. He wants to fuck someone up. At one point, Rhaenyra even asks him, does the thought of war excite you? And in my head, I'm like, yes. Yes, the fuck it does excite him. But Rhaenyra's on the other side of this. This is where I absolutely adore the character of Rhaenyra Targaryen. In a sea of men that want to burn the High Towers to the ground, that want to burn Aegon Targaryen to the ground, she is remaining calm. She understands that her duty to the realm is peace and unity and comfort, which is exactly how her dad ruled. So she is trying to be level-headed while everybody just wants to go full fucking force into King's Landing and burn these fuckers to the ground. Now, we'll get to the ending and how that all changes for Rhaenyra, but I like how this episode starts. I like that she is the one dialed into peace, while Damon is on the complete other side, calling everyone known to man a cunt. I don't think this was the Big Bang finale that a lot of people are going to have hoped for. And when you come up on that ending, this episode does more feel like a preview to Season 2 as opposed to a conclusion to Season 1, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But a majority of this episode was Rhaenyra and Daemon and their crew of people just trying to figure out their next steps. They're trying to figure out who their allies are. They're trying to figure out who's going to fight against them. They're trying to figure out if they even want to consider Alicent's offer. It felt very much like season one of Game of Thrones in a sense that they are dialing significantly more into the politics of this journey. They're not necessarily worried about a massive spectacle in season one, because they more so care that every character is fleshed out, every motive is understood. And I do think that's going to split people on this episode because it is still the Game of Thrones universe. Everyone expects a big bang in the finale. But like I said, this episode felt more of a preview to season two as opposed to a conclusion to season one. Let's get to that ending. Rhaenyra sends Luceris to House Baratheon to uh, convince him to uphold his oath to Rhaenyra's claim to the throne. Aemon is already there. House Baratheon tells Lucerys to go fuck himself. I love when Aemon removes his eye patch and you just see that sapphire eye. It is so fucking tough. And then they get into it. They get on their dragons. They fight. And bam. Aemon fucks up Lucerys. His dragon eats him. Rhaenyra finds out. And the Black Queen is emerging. Without a doubt. She's about to lose her fucking mind in season two.